Do you feel lovable? Hi, my name is Susie Porter, and I help women rewrite their lives so then they can create their happily ever after. I wanted today to talk about uh, miracles. And actually, when I was reading uh, in the very beginning of A Course in Miracles, there's 50 principles and meaning of miracles. And I just got stuck on this one, right? Number 33. Miracles honor you because you are lovable. They dispel illusions about yourself and perceive the light in you. They thus atone for your errors by freeing you from your nightmares, by releasing your mind from the imprisonment of your illusions. They restore your sanity. So it would make sense then to say that to believe that you're unlovable is insane. I mean, we all believe different things. Personally, I believe Jesus wrote The Course in Miracles, but you don't have to, to, to derive the meaning from the words. And no matter what you believe, you got to admit, it feels better to feel lovable than to feel unlovable, right? I mean, I guess it begs the question, what does it mean to be lovable? And this is where... Um, we get so many mixed messages from the time we're little kids. Of course, babies are lovable because the babies are so cute and so innocent and so vulnerable and helpless. Yet, you know, <laughs> as babies grow up, there are things about human beings that are not lovable, right? Sometimes it's hard to, uh, hmm, what's the word? Of course, we always love our babies and our children, but even the best parents and the best teachers and our culture and our society, somewhere along the line, we get the messages that we're not lovable or that we're only lovable if we're pretty or we get straight A's or we are good in sports or we're talented or we make everyone feel happy. Our lovability, our lovableness is contingent upon how we perform or how we fit in or how we please others. We lose our complete sense of self. And I love how Jesus writes about miracles that they honor our, they uh, miracles honor you because you are lovable. They dispel illusions about yourself and perceive the light in you. They thus atone for your errors by freeing you from your nightmares and releasing your mind from the imprisonment of your illusions. They restore your sanity. So to be sane is to acknowledge and know that you are lovable just as you are. Before you lose that 10 pounds, before you make that 100 grand, before you make that six figure you know, career come true, before whatever, just, just by the virtue of you being here and being a human being, on this planet, you are lovable. You don't have to do anything. There's no, you know, it just goes against everything that we're socialized to believe. And The Course in Miracles it explains so much about that the real miracle is the love and the source of that love, not the miracle itself is just kind of like an expression, but the real miracle is the love itself. And, you know, I, I'm just going to be honest, all my life, uh, I've sung about love, I talk about love, I tell people I love them, people tell me they love me. But what does that really, truly feel like? Louise Hay, the famous uh, you Can Heal Your Life author, her whole shtick was love yourself, right? Her big thing was look in the mirror, which was a lot more fun when I was in my 20s or 30s. <laughs> but that's the point, right? No matter how old you are, no matter how many wrinkles you are, have, look in your own eyes and say to yourself, I love you. And I started doing this back in 2014. Um which was the worst year of my life. I've talked about it in other videos, just because I was so depressed and desperate to tell you the truth. I listened to Louise Hay. She told me to look in the mirror and say, I love you. So I said, you know, what have I got to lose? I need some help to get through this year. 
So I started doing it and I felt ridiculous at first. Like it just felt silly. But the more I did it, the more I started to feel it, right? I love you. I love you. I love you. And now I don't do it every day, but every once in a while, if I'm having a hard time, I'll just <laughs> look in the mirror and remind myself, hey, you're okay. I give myself a pep talk. I help women with my uh, Rewrite Your Life course. And I do a lot of uh, journaling and journal prompts. And we, we write to uncover the story, the unlovable story, right? To get to the lovable story. Because letting yourself feel lovable helps you open the door for miracles and to feel the love of God or the universe, divine intelligence, whatever you want to call it, call it Uncle Frank's pizza, it doesn't matter. But the reality of the energy of love, if you want to feel it in your heart, if you want to know that you're lovable, you have to agree with it. And all the voices in your head from, from society and culture brainwashing you that you're not lovable, we have to counteract those voices with the voice of love. And that's what the true miracle is, letting love in, agreeing with God, agreeing with your creator, whatever your belief system is, agreeing with your own higher self, that you are lovable. How can you feel lovable? For some of us, uh, me included, it, it takes work. It takes not work, I hate that word work. It takes focus and effort and attention and intention, right? I intend to feel my lovableness. I intend to open my heart and to open my mind. And I intend to agree with Jesus that I'm lovable. Not the way that I used to feel in fundamental Christianity. I was lovable because I went to church and didn't drink or didn't smoke or all that stuff, that dogmatic earning. No, I'm lovable just because I exist and my innocence is guaranteed by God and my lovable lovableness is also guaranteed by God. So, <laughs> I don't have three quick, easy steps to feel your lovableness, but I will say the first step is always awareness and presence. So today, as you hopefully are still with me watching this video, try, try looking in the mirror and looking in your own eyes and saying, I love you. And if you feel silly, do it for 21 days, three weeks. And at the end of those three weeks, you're going to start to feel it. And then keep doing it whenever you need to feel your own lovableness. You are lovable. You are lovable. And any, any notion or belief that you're not lovable is an illusion. It's, it's just the nightmare of the ego. Give yourself some time, some space, some silence, some stillness today to allow your brain to entertain the idea that you are lovable. You know what? Do a rampage of appreciation about yourself. I'm lovable because, and put down pages of every positive aspect you can think about yourself, every good thing you've done, every compliment, everyone. Ask your friends and family, why am I lovable? They'll tell you. And read that and remind yourself that. Bolster your, your sense of your own lovableness. Because the more that you can welcome and believe that you are lovable, the more love will come into your life. It won't, you won't be able to stop it from coming into your life. Agree with your creator. Agree with creation. You are lovable. I pray and I hope and I just send out every, every wish from the bottom of my heart that 
in your mind and in your heart, you will make space for the belief and the conviction and the knowledge that you yourself, just as you are right here, right now, are lovable. Take that into your heart and know that it's true. <laughs>